Welcome to today's class. We are going to be doing a one hour dynamic backbending flow. So there'll be a lot of perhaps new movement, movements for you that maybe you haven't done before. Try to take it at your own pace. I'll try to offer as many modifications as I can. Remember that your practice is really different every single day and I really encourage you to um, modify today's practice to suit your needs. So maybe you come to today's class with some energy, some fire and ready to take on a challenge but you might feel as you move through the sequence that there are times where your body is actually craving a little bit of stillness or a little bit of um, ease so please do listen as we move through it unfortunately i can't um listen to your body for you so it's really your own responsibility to take on what serves you and leave out what doesn't serve you okay so let's get started with just grounding into our practice today i'd like you to sit up tall through the spine feel free to sit on your um, bum with legs crossed if that's better for you and we're going to start with shoulders over the hips going to take a minute or two here with the breath. So you can close the eyes to begin just acknowledging your environment today. So most of us will be practicing from home or if you're maybe on holidays from your um, semi-permanent apartment or accommodation, whatever it is. It might be a new environment, a familiar environment, whatever it is. I want you to allow yourself to arrive completely. Allow yourself to Observe the noises as they arise. Notice as each noise arises, you can't prompt it, you can't control it, you can't stop it. So just allow and embrace all the noises and movements around you to be part of your practice, to be part of your moment to moment experience. So it's when we resist what is that we give our energy to suffering. So similarly throughout our practice, when things arise that maybe we didn't expect or we didn't anticipate, please try not to resist. Try your best to observe and embrace. Okay, so you can begin to open your eyes. Um, we're gonna start with our toes tucked. So I'd like you to um, just tuck your toes and sit your bum back on your heels. We're going to just move into this um, stretch for the feet. So there will be quite a lot of ankle mobility today in today's class. We're going to be moving for some back bending. Um, and yeah, so just warming up into that space around the ankles, space in the soles of your feet. And I'd like you to bring your arms all the way out in front and just bring your thumbs toward the center of your palm, wrap your fingers over and start to circle into the wrists. Notice any clicks, any tightness. And then just start to reverse that circle opposite way. And then bringing your arms over your head, I'd like you to bring opposite hand to opposite elbow. As you inhale, I want you to lean back through the elbows, open the front of your body. And as you exhale, dome into your back. Round, tuck your tailbone, drop your elbows down slightly. Again, inhale, lean the elbows back, feel space through the side body as you reach up and lengthen. Exhale, round, scoop your belly in, extend your elbows forward, tuck your chin. Three more, inhale to arch, keeping those toes tucked if possible. Exhale to round. Last two, inhale, breathe into your front body. We're also trying to chew body and breath together here. Exhale to round. Last time, inhale to arch. Lift the chest toward your chin, exhale round, well done. Okay, bring your arms all the way up overhead again. We're going to bring the right hand behind us. As you bring right fingertips behind you, sweep your left arm past the face, and then sit to the opposite side. Left fingertips behind you, sweep the right arm past the face. You might, as you sweep the arm back, create this cactus shape position, really getting into the pectoral muscles, into the inner arms, continue the sweeping side to side. For five, breathe deeply for four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring your hands forward. You're going to bring the fingertips to the mat, lift your knees away from the mat, and sit your bum down as you lift the knees out wide. So just feeling into your groin there, we're either going to simply drop the knees down to tap and then drive them back out wide. Tap forward and drive them out wide. If you want to progress a little bit further, as you bring the knees forward, you'll lean back and tap your fingers toward the mat behind you. And then in one sweep motion, you're going to bring the fingertips in front, knees out wide. Okay? So just modifying to suit your uh, needs today.
say those feet are probably starting to really fire up on your monarch. And this is just starting to strengthen into the legs, strengthen into the hips, and also incorporating a little bit of balance. Continue. And then next time you bring your fingertips forward, I'd like you to grab the palms, lift the hips, we're going to walk it out into our downward facing dog. So bring your hands all the way forward, pedaling into your knees. So this should feel really good for the feet. Bending one knee and then the other, maybe swaying your hips left to right. Grounding down through your thumb, to your index finger. Like a wave, I'd like you to inhale, roll it forward into plank. Bring the shoulders over the wrists, chest forward, engage your quads. Exhale, soft bend in the knees as we push it back into your downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale, ripple it forward, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, bend the knees, push it all the way back down dog. Last time, inhale, ripple forward, shoulders over wrists, chest extends forward. Exhale, push it back down dog. This time we're going to inhale, roll it forward, drop your hips towards your wrists, coming into a loaded or hovering upward facing dog, and then lift into plank pose. So you're going to squeeze the glutes, dome into your back, and drive your hips up so that you have a long line of energy from shoulders to your heels. Again, we're going to drop the hips down, and then drive it up downward, or drive it up plank pose. Dip the hips down, engage the glutes. Drive it up, plank. This time we're going to hold our plank pose. I want you to tap the right toe behind you. You might have to spin onto the knife edge of your left foot. And then step the right foot as wide as your right hand to lizard lunge. We're going to do that two more times. So step the right toe slightly behind you. Keep your shoulders square with the front of your mat. And then step the right foot nice and controlled wider of the right foot. One more time. Step the right toes behind. This time step the right foot between your hands. So drive the knee toward the chest. Step the right foot forward, drop the left knee down to the mat. We're coming to low lunge. I want you to sweep the arms all the way up overhead, lifting from the lower belly, driving down through that right heel, and engaging into your left glute. Again, you want to really feel your foundation here, so push down through the feet. Now interlock the fingers, flip the palms toward the sky. We're going to take a little mini back bend. So simply stretch up and lean back slightly through the arms. As we exhale, I want you to flip the knuckles face forward, shift your hips back, half hand in Manasana, you're going to flex the right foot, straighten the right leg, and lean forward so that your arms and torso are perpendicular, or parallel to the mat, sorry, inhale, lunge, forward, arms lift, flip the palms toward the sky, exhale, lean it back, knuckles face away from you, again, inhale, lift, engage the left glute, exhale, lean forward, extend through the shoulders. One more time, inhale, drop the hips forward, engage into the left glute, lean back through the arms. Exhale, lean forward, hold, and then bring your fingertips to the mat. So staying in your half splits position, I want you to hug that right hip crease back, engage fully or activate fully through your right foot. Ebert the foot so that you're pushing forward through the right big toe mat of the foot. I want you to round your spine and curl your chin toward your chest. We're going to take little mini bounces here. So I want you to... Try to bounce your forehead as if you're trying to touch it towards your right shin. Stay active through the right foot. Continue for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, feel your heart forward, lengthen your spine. We're going to push down through the fingers and see if we can hover the right heel away from the mat as we exhale. So that's really challenging. If you have blocks or books even to place underneath your hands, it'll give you a lot more space to elevate the heel. So modify if you need. Take a full deep inhale. Exhale, round scoop, lift the right heel. Again, inhale, slight arch through the spine, lengthen. Exhale, push down, round, squeeze, and lift. Two more. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, push down through fingers and hover. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, push down. Hover. Well done. We're going to re-bend into the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Keep your shoulders over your hips first. Engage into your left glute again. Really try to reach back through those right fingertips. And then we're going to lean forward. Just tap your left fingertips to the mat. And then come all the way back up. 
Bring your right hand towards your left hamstring as your left arm goes back over the left ear. Again, come forward, tap left fingertips to mat, and then lift all the way up, right hand toward left hamstring. One more time, tap left fingertips to mat, right arm lift, and then come all the way up, right hand to left hamstring, lean back, and then bring your hands to the mat. Well done. Framing out the right foot, we're going to lift the left knee, tuck the toe, and step it back into your plank position. So we're going to do the same warm up on the left. Inhale here. As you exhale, tap the left toe behind you. Spin onto the knife edge of your right foot. And then step the left foot wider of the left foot. Lift your lunge. Again, tap left toe behind you. Step it wide of the left hand. Last time, tap the left toe behind you. Step it wide. Okay, this time tap the left toe behind you. And then step the left foot through between the hands. We're going to drop the right knee coming into that low lunge position. Sweep the arms all the way up overhead, reactivate into that right glute. So finding that nice deep lunge, we're going to in interlock all the fingers. Flip the palms toward this side. Inhale, lean back through the arms. Exhale, lean forward. Knuckles face away from you. Extend through your side body. Straighten your left leg again. Inhale, lift the chest, engage the right glute, lunge. Exhale, lean forward, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Three more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, shoulders really hugging up towards your ears as you lengthen even more. Inhale, lift up, engage the right glute. Exhale, lean it back, strong to the left foot. Last time, inhale. And exhale, hold it in the air, then bring your fingertips to the mat. First, we're going to bounce, so I'd like you to tuck your chin toward your chest, curl your tailbone in, and start to take those little bounces. So you should really feel this in your entire back body, a really good way to work into the strengthening your fascia. Ground down through the left heel, keep that left foot flexed for five, four, tuck the chin, three, two, one. Inhale, lengthen, we're going to hover the left foot now. So keeping that left foot flexed, if you have really tight hamstrings, again, Please do feel free to use blocks here or bucks underneath the hands. We're going to inhale, lengthen, exhale, push the floor away to your fingers and see if you can hover the left heel. Again, inhale to lengthen, exhale, push and hover. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, push down, hover. Two more. Inhale, lengthen, evert that left foot, exhale, hover. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Well done, you're almost there. Exhale, hover. Well done. Okay, lunging forward into the left knee, hop, low lunge, sorry, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Take a full deep inhale here, exhale, twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. So keep your shoulders stacked over the hips, knit your rib cage in, feel that rotation from your belly button, traveling up to your thoracic spine, now lean forward, tap the mat with your right fingers, and then come back, tap your left hand towards your right hamstring, right arm extends all the way up and over. Again, lean forward, tap the mat with your right fingers, and then lean back, reverse. One more time, tap it forward, nice, slow and controlled, and then reverse. Windmill your hands to the mat. Tuck your right toe, lift your right knee, step it back into climb. Inhale your plank, exhale, dip the hips down, engage the glutes, hovering or loaded upward facing dog. Two more, climb, inhale. Exhale, drop the hips down, engage the glutes. One more. Round, lift the hips. Drop it down, engage the glutes, and then lift all the way up and back, down, and facing dog. If there's any pinching in the lower back for those, try to activate your core, your thighs, and your glutes a little bit more. If they're still pinching in the lower back, then leave those out. We're going to step, walk, or hop to the front of our mat. When you get there, I want you to immediately come to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. So we're going to move through um, some sun salutations. Now they're going to be a little bit different than our usual ones. So Surya Namaskar A with a little bit of crow and a little bit of back bending. Now, if this is in any way uncomfortable for you, if it doesn't feel right in your body today, I'd like you just to do your regular Surya Namaskar A your sun salutation A, if you want to give it a go, first round, and then you feel it's just not for you, again, modify as we move through it. I'm going to demonstrate just this first part of it, so we'll inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, you bring the 
arms down by your hips. You start to lean back through your shoulders. Lean forward through your knees. Get those knees to the mat. Once that happens, lift the knees, hands to the mat, and like we did at the beginning of class, the knees come out wide. Then from there, we lift the hips. We come into maybe crow. You might just uh, lift one toe and then alternate between toes, or you might lift both. You might then step it back into plank, or you can hop back to chaturanga, okay? So your practice, your choice. If you're sensitive in your knees, please do feel free to bring a blanket or something to the front of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, knees to mat, so arms down, lean back as your knees slowly come to the mat. Lift the knees, knees out wide, drop the hips, hands in front. Drive your hips up, knees toward the backs of the triceps. Lift your hips, round your spine. Maybe you hover the toes, elbows in, and then shoot it back, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, hold it here for three. Full deep inhales and exhales through the nose for two. And one, you can step forward, hop to the front of your mat. When you get there, inhale, lift the arms all the way up overhead. Maybe a slight back bend, pushing the hips forward. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down, lean back. Bend the knees, slowly get those knees to the back. And then lift the hips, or lift the knees, hips down, knees out wide. Again, crow prep, bring the hands to the mat, shoulder width, bend your elbows slightly, bring your gaze forward, engage your pelvic floor to drive those hips up higher, and then chaturanga maybe, or step it back, plank, moving through your vinyasa of choice, meeting in a downward facing dog. Hold it here for three. We got this for two. Use this time to slow down the breath for one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, take an inhale. Exhale, hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, root to rise, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. Again, inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Lean back through your shoulders as you slowly bring the knees to the mat. Lift the knees, drop the hips, hands in front, knees out wide. And then bring the knees to the backs of the triceps. Hover the hips nice and high. Maybe you just play around with bringing one toe away from the mat, then the opposite, or move through your vinyasa. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck the toes and lift the hips. Hold it here for three. Full deep inhale, full deep exhale. For two. Last time we're doing this, lift the heels, bend the knees. Inhale, exhale, hop to the front of your mat. Come to standing, inhale, lift the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands release to prayer at the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms, fill the body, lungs and belly. Exhale, arms down, lean back slightly as you bring those knees nice and controlled to the mat. Lift the, lift the knees, drop the hips, bring the hands to the mat. Knees to the triceps, lean forward. The more you engage the pelvic floor, the more you lift the hips the lighter it's going to be through the backs of the arms. Moving through your vinyasa, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're going to move through our standing sequence now. When you're ready, inhale, ripple it forward into plank. Hold it here as you exhale, fill that space between the shoulders. Inhale, turbo up dog. Drop the hips towards your wrists, lift your chest, engage your glutes. Exhale, down, or sorry, exhale, plank pose. Again, drop the hips, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drive it up, plank pose. Last time, inhale, drop the hips, engage the glutes. Exhale, drive it up. Okay, we're going to set the right toe behind you, keep your shoulders square, and then step the right foot wider of the right hand. Two more like that. Step the right toes behind you, and then step it wide with your bunch. Last time. Step it behind, and step it wide. Keep your left hand where it is, extend your right arm to the sky, easy twist. So enjoy this momentary pause, really activate through that left quad, that left glute. Full deep inhales, full deep exhales. Okay, so bring our left hand slightly wider. Now, for this next move, I'll demonstrate first 
If you want to bring a block underneath the left hand, it probably will make it a little bit easier for you. It'll just make it easier to bring uh, the leg all the way through, give you a little bit more space. First option is we're going to lean forward, drive the left knee toward us, and then step it back. So that's simply rounding your spine, driving the knee in, and stepping it back. Second option, which is a little bit more advanced, pull the left, foot, left knee in, grab the left foot with the right hand, the outside of the left foot, extend it forward, hover your bum, and then drive your hips up. Step the left foot back, easy twist, okay? So we're gonna do that five times when you're ready. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, knee in, maybe extend it forward, grabbing the foot, step it back. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, drive it in, extend the left leg forward. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze and extend. Two more. Inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, drive it in, extend it forward. One more. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, hug it in, extend it forward. This time, drop your bum to the mat. Okay, so bum to the mat, right foot stays where it is. Left hand crosses over right arm. So you're crisscrossing at your upper, at your forearms. Extending that left leg up, it might be completely bent, that is totally fine. I want you to do your best to extend the left leg up and see how far you can fold in towards it. Full deep inhales, full deep exhales. Now either stay here or bring the hands behind you, fire up to that left foot and start to pulse the left leg in towards you for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Grab the left foot with your right hand. So you're getting into the outer edge of the left foot. The next part is really tricky again. So your left hand is going to be like it's on a tight rope with your right foot. So that's where the balance comes in. It is quite challenging. You might wibble wobble a lot. So move, the slower you move, the more control you're going to have. Left hand behind you. In line with your right foot, you're going to push down into the right foot and the left hand hover the bone. Now this might be where you stay, but you might start to lift the hips up a little bit higher. Find the control, find the balance, wiggle wobble, feel it. Now we're stepping that left foot to the back of your mat. Keep the right hand to the foot and bring the left foot all the way back. Okay, coming into this extended pyramid fold, bring the right fingertips underneath the shoulder, extend the left arm to the sky. So we're twisting here. You can bring a block as well underneath the right hand if that's what you need. Feel that left hip crease held back. Lift from the lower belly. Well done. Coming into the wild thing, I'd like you to check right hand is under the shoulder. Spin onto the outer to the right foot. We're going to step the left hand behind you, but see if you can land on the toenail side of the foot. So this might be too challenging for some of us. If it is, just tuck the toes. Otherwise, I want you to try and swivel your right toes so they point toward the original front of your mat. Mat, sorry. Start to bend into your right knee. Get that left chin to touch the mat if you can. And then straighten the right leg. So it's like we're lunging forward through the right knee. Lunge. Bring the left chin to the mat. And straighten. One more time. Lunge. And straighten. And then we're going to step the left foot all the way to the front of the mat. You can assist it in getting there with your left hand. Coming into that runner's lunge position. So we're coming into a diagonal lunge. I want you to get those feet on separate tracks. Slightly round into your back to knit your ribcage up and in. Extend your left arm back and extend your right arm forward. Engage through the right glute. Hold it here. And then we're going to lean forward into the left foot. Come to standing. And as you do that, twist to the right. So you're going to extend the right arm back. Hold your right knee to your chest. Extend the left arm forward. Now, as we move from here, we're going to be alternating between here and our revolved half moon. You can, each time we come back here, straighten the right leg or keep it bent. Now, revolve. Extend the right leg back. Reach your right fingertips down, maybe just to hover above the mat as you twist to the left through your torso. And then twist again to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward, maybe extending the right leg straight. Again, twist, revolve. Wibble, wobble, nice and slow. Remember, the slower we move, the more control we have. Come all the way back up, shoulders over the hips. Right arm back, left arm forward. One more time, revolve half moon, left hand can be to your hip or to the sky, and then come all the way back up. So this time, right arm back, you either bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee or to the outside of the right foot, extend your right leg forward, hold it here for three, breathe deeply for two, 
and one. We're going to cross that right ankle over the left. We're going to bring the hands to prayer, Galavasana. So you can either stay here, or if you want to open a little bit more, you can bring that left elbow just to the inside of your right foot. You can bring your triceps toward your shin. You can bring the fingertips to the mat. If you want to balance, you can balance. So you might bring your hands down, hook that right foot around the left tricep, drive your hips up, lean forward, and maybe you hover the left foot. Maybe you drive the left heel in, maybe you extend the left leg straight. You might be leaving that completely out, so ignore me if you are. Bring the hands to prayer again, prayer at the heart again. Left hand reaches toward the right foot, we're reversing. Extend the right leg forward again, extend your right arm back. Okay, we're coming into a lunge position. I want you to release the foot. Step the right foot to the back of your mat, high lunge. Arms overhead. So we're cold as the front of our mat for now. I want you to bring the hands behind the back. Now, as you bend your right knee, we're going to lean back through the elbows. Hover the right knee just above the mat. And then lift your right knee up, round, and drive your, your elbows toward each other. Again, inhale, elbows back, hover your right knee. Exhale, round. So almost like cat cat. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, open. Hover the right knee. Exhale, round. Last time. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, twist to the left. Take one more full deep inhale. Find your balance. Engage your right glute. And then reverse. Bring your left hand towards your right Hamstring right arm extends back. You can either stay here, or again, we'll hover the right knee, and then drive it up for five. Hover, and drive. Four, hover, drive three, hover, drive two, last one, hover, drive one. Warrior two, sweep your right arm back. Woo, I need a break in that left leg. So, if you need to straighten the left leg, just momentarily do. And then we're going to re-lunge into that left knee. Arms out nice and wide. Soften into the shoulders. Keep those shoulders over the hips. So finding your, your warrior two, I want you to really think of those hip points pushing forward. As you push your hip points forward, try not to allow the left knee to travel with it. Keep the left knee over the ankle. Flip your left palm, inhale, exhale. Reverse the warrior. Right hand finds your right thigh or calf. Left arm extends back over your left ear. Well done. Come all the way back up to warrior two. And then interlock your fingers behind your back. Extend back through your knuckles. Extend through your elbows. We're going to circle the entire torso. I want you to fold first to the inside of your left leg. And then circle all the way toward the back of your mat. Re-stacking the shoulders over the hips eventually. Again, circle the torso forward. And then all the way back up. So it's like you're coming through your side angle. Circling forward and back your reverse warrior. One more time. Circle it forward and back. This time, next time you circle forward, I want you to pause at the center, bring that left toe in, coming into wide leg forward fold. So lift your knuckles toward the sky. If you need the hands for support here, find fingers to the mat. Lift up through the pelvic floor, activate your quadriceps, and feel the crown of your head sink toward the mat. Now, if you want to come to headstand, you can come to headstand. If that's in your practice, you can bring the hands to the mat, coming into tripod or into your dolphin headstand. Any variation, take your time, keep your drishti. If you're up, squeeze your glutes, point your toes, slowly reverse it. Okay. Lift up, inhale, exhale, walk toward the front of your mat. Plank position, step it back into plank. Take a full deep inhale. Full deep exhale. Next time, inhale, we're going to drop the hips down. Loaded, upward facing dog. Exhale, drive it up and around. Plank pose. Two more. Inhale, dip, keep those quads and glutes active. Exhale, push down to round. One more. Inhale, drop. Exhale, drive it up, well done. Tap the left toes behind you, and then step them wider of the left foot. Hands, that is not your foot. Okay, tap the left toes behind you, two more, and watch. 
Again, tap the left toes behind you, step it forward wide, hold it here. Easy twist, bring your left arm to the sky, find that nice space across your chest, driving up through the right quad, engaging through the right glutes. Holding it here. Now we're gonna do those shoot throughs again. So remember, right hand comes a little bit wider, and you can also stack it onto a block. So we're gonna drive that right, or sorry, first left arm lifts. Second, drive the right knee in, grab the outer edge of the foot, and extend it forward as you drop your hips. Again, drive the hips up to step the right foot back, lift the left arm. Exhale, shoot through. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, shoot through. Two more. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, shoot through. Last one. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, shoot it through, and then drop your bum to the back. Cross your right forearm over your left and reach for the foot. So finding this um, hamstring opener a little bit here, but also a bit of core. So as you lift your chest, you want to really feel that lift through the lower belly. And maybe you start to exaggerate the folds a little bit. Maybe lifting the chest toward your shin. And if you can stay here without the hands, hands behind the head and pulse. For 10, flex or point the toe. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Grab for the outside of the right foot with the left hand. Remember, we're on a tight rope here, so a lot of balance. I want you to bring the right hand behind you. Fingers point towards the back of your mat. We'll call it the back of our mat for now. We're going to push into the left foot and the right hand. Really think about your base. Focus. As you hover the bum, find your balance, and then maybe starting to drive the hips up a little bit more. Hold it here for five, four, Three, two, right foot to the back of your mat. Nice, slow, and controlled. Extended pyramid fold. Feet on the separate track, right foot flex, left fingers underneath left shoulder. Extend your right arm to the sky. Come high in the ball of the left foot. So lift those left, left heel over those left toes. We're going to come into wild thing from here. So make sure your left hand is underneath the shoulder. I want you to spin onto the outer edge of the left foot. And I'd like you to see if you can land on your toenail side of the foot. So a little bit different. Hold it here if that's too much coming into your regular wild thing. Next is to point your left toes towards the um, original front of your mat. Bend both knees and lunge forward into the left knee as you bring your right chin to the mat and then straighten the left leg as you lift the right knee back up. Again, lunge forward, bend both knees, and then straighten. Last time, lunge both knees, bring the right chin to the mat, and then straighten, look to the front of your mat, step the right foot all the way forward. So set up your feet on separate tracks. This time, come up with that diagonal again, knit your ribcage in, right arm back this time, left arm forward. Engage your left glute, engage your left quad, and we're going to lean forward into the right foot, come to standing slowly. As you come to standing, twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. So remember, you can keep the left knee bent or extend the left leg straight, and then we're revolving, twisting toward our revolved half moon. Left fingertips, chest above the mat as your right arm lifts to the sky, and then again, lift, revolve. Shoulders over the hips, revolve again, Torso parallel with the mat. Left fingertips hover, hover, or if you need, find a mat or block. Again, revolve to standing. You can keep that left knee bent as you lift it. One more, revolve to half moon. And then lift all the way back up. Well done. So this time, either right hand to outside of left knee, or right hand to outside of left foot. Holding it here. Lift from the lower belly, breathe for three. Hold for two, and then cross the ankle over the knee. So we're going to sit down into our seat, hands to prayer at the heart, lift the chest, flex the left foot. So either stay in here, or if you want to move a little bit deeper into the hips, fold. It's almost like you're trying to sandwich your body over the, over the legs. If you want to come to the balance, hands down to the mat, just like you would in your crow pose, slightly lean forward, wrapping that left foot around the right tricep, play around with it, and then we'll meet, our, meet back into our Galavasana hands to prayer. 
Reverse how we came in. Reach for the outside of the left foot or a knee with the right hand extended forward. Left arm back. And then high lunge. We're going to step the left foot to the back of our mat. Nice and slow. Sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Engage into your left glute. Bring your hands behind the head. Elbows out wide. I'd like you to bend the left knee to hover. Lean back through the elbows. And then lift the left knee. Elbows touch. Inhale. Open like a clamp. Exhale, close, like a clamp. Three more. Inhale, hover the left knee, engage the left glute. Exhale, round, tap elbows. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale. This time, inhale, arms lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward, find your balance. Get nice and low into that right knee, ground through the right big toe. Activate the left glute and then reverse. Left arm up, right hand to the left hamstring. You can either hold it here or hover and lift. Hover, lift, last three. Hover, lift, last two. Hover, lift, last time. Hover, lift, warrior two. Open. Okay, if you need a break like me, straighten into that right leg just momentarily. Maybe you need to give your hips a little bit of a wiggle. And then we'll come into warrior two. So lunge into the right knee. Extend your arms out wide. I'm not here for too long. Really activate into those glutes. Feel the space in your inner thighs. Relax your shoulders, strong through your legs. And ground down to all four corners of the feet. Imagine like you're trying to drag your feet in toward each other. Okay, we're going to inhale, flip the right palm. Exhale, reverse just momentarily here. Feel that space in your lateral body. Breathe into your right waist. And then come all the way back up. Okay, bring the hands behind the back. Opposite grip this time. Bring the left pinky finger over the right. Extend back through the knuckles. We're going to fold to the inside of the right leg. Circle it. All the way back. Through reverse warrior. And then forward again. So, really trying to make this really fluid. Try to make it fun and intuitive. One more full circle, keeping those arms active. And then another half circle as we come forward, we're gonna fold toward the center of our mat. Spin our right toes in and come to that wide leg forward fold. So again, you might stay here. You might come to headstand. You might try your um, lift to full dolphin headstand from here. That can be quite challenging but a lot of fun. So bringing your head into that knuckle between the hands, push the floor away through the elbows and drive it all the way up. You can do loads of different shapes with the, with the legs. You can do eagle wrap, you can do a diamond shape with big toes touching, whatever it is, and then slowly reverse. Well done. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of your mat. Step it into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, hold. Inhale, drop the hips. Engage the glutes. Upward dog, loaded. Exhale, plank. Two more. Inhale, drop the hips. Shoulders away from here. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, plank. Last time. Inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, plank to downward facing. Oh, amazing, everyone. Well done. Take a moment here. Full extension through the arms, grounding through all ten fingers on your mat, feeling that thumb and index finger. Root down. Extend up through your sit bones. Okay, now that we have warmed up, now that we have finished our standing practice, I'd like you to step, walk, or hop to the front of your mat like we've done before. Straight away come to standing. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. Okay, so I'd like you to step your feet about hip width distance this time. We're going to try and drop the knees to the mat like we've done. So inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side and slowly lean back as you slowly try to get those knees to the mat. And again, we're going to try to come all the way up to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Lean back and try to get those knees softly to the mat. Three more. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, come down toward the knees. Squeeze your inner thighs nice and slow. Two more. Inhale, lift all the way up. 
Exhale, come all the way down. Maybe you get those fingertips to tap the mat behind you. Last time, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, come all the way down toward the knees. Okay, so this time I'd like you to bring the right arm behind you, sweep the left arm past the face. And as you do that, I want you to try and drive your hips forward and then drop the hips down. Opposite side, bring the left fingertips behind you, sweep the right arm past the face, push your hips forward, tuck your tailbone and your glutes. Two more on each side, right arm behind, left arm sweeps, push the hips forward. And again, left arm behind, right arm sweep, sweeps, push the hips forward. One more to the right. Inhale, tuck the tailbone. And again, to the left. Right arm back, push the hips forward. And release, well done. Okay, so I'd like you to come to stand on your knees. So some of us will have quite sensitive knees. If you do, I'd like you to double over your mat so that you have this extra bit of cushion for the knees. So we're going to come to word cow first. So either you can keep the toes tucked or you can bring the tops of your feet to the mat. I'd like you to bring your hands towards your back. First round, we're not going to bring the hands toward the, the heels. Drive your elbows in toward each other. Try not to collapse into the lower back. So extend your tailbone down and try to push your pubic bone forward. You're going to start to lift your chest. So I want you to imagine like you have something between your thighs, so maybe uh, a block between your thighs and you're squeezing into it. Activate your inner thighs. Lift from pelvic floor. Lift your chest. Hold it here for three. Breathe for two. And one. Slowly release. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. We're going to do these lean backs. So if this is at all painful in the back, I want you to leave it out and do exactly what you just did. Otherwise, we're going to start to hinge back as far as you can go and then hinge forward. For 10, hinge back and come forward. You can tuck the toes for this as well if it feels better for you. Hinge back, engage your glutes, hinge forward, shoulders over the hips. For 7, hinge back, keep that straight line and forward. Hinge back as far as you can go. Squeeze through the glutes for five. Hinge back, really firing up through those quads. And forward, four. Hinge back, keep that straight line from knee to shoulder. Squeeze glutes, and forward, three. Hinge back, and forward, two. Last one, hinge back, and forward, one. Okay, so there's a few options now to play with. So either you're going to come toward your camel, which I'll demonstrate now. You can tuck the toes or keep the tops of the feet to the mat. Hands to the back. Again, tailbone tucked. Lift the chest like you have helium in your chest. Going back. And if the heels are available for you, only if. So it's not any of this. Reaching back and struggling. If they are available for your fingers. We are grabbing the heels, fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside. And then we're lifting up. So I don't want you to lean back or collapse onto your heels. We're still keeping that helium in the chest. We're still pushing the hips forward and lifting, driving up through the heart. And then to come out safely, hands to your back. And you can do that once, twice, three times, however much, however time you have, however much time. This lockdown is driving me alive. I can't speak at all. You get what I mean. Okay, so the next option, if you want, is to tuck your toes is to come straight into Urdhva Dhanurasana, okay? So we've worked up quite a lot for this. Hands to prayer. You take that camel back bend. You lift your heart, squeeze through inner thighs. You might take a little bit of momentum here. Going back, landing on your hands, and lifting the knees away from the mat. If you do not have a really strong Urdhva Dhanurasana, really strong little pose, do not attempt it, okay? And then you come back, how you come in. Knees to the mat and sweep the hands forward into prayer. So you can do that a few times, you can play around with it. Again, those hinges are really helpful, or if you want to simply uh, try to go back, squeezing the glutes and come all the way back up, squeezing through inner thigh. If you're not confident enough going back all the way into that Orba Generosity or that wheel pose, simply doing the um, camel lifts with hands to prayer. So pushing the hips gently forward, engaging into your glutes, chest toward your thumbs, and then trying to get your head as close toward your feet as you can. On the way back up, so important to squeeze your inner thighs. As you do that, you'll feel a lift through the pelvic floor and engage the glutes. Okay, so I'm going to do that drop back just one more time. I'll give you 
time to play with either your camel or your prep for the drop back, okay? So hands to prayer or hands towards your lower back. If you want to block between your inner thighs, that can be really helpful as well. Okay, well done. So we're going to start our cool down. Take a moment with your bum towards your heels, just allowing yourself to ease into this. Allowing your spine to neutralize slightly, allowing any sensations that you may feel after your back bending to be felt, try not to ignore or resist. Just allow everything to be as it is. It can be really overwhelming practicing back bending, so take a moment to be kind to yourself. To remember that the most important part of today, of this practice, of this class, is that you have made it to your mat. It doesn't matter what your practice looks like, how many fancy poses or shapes that you can do. It's the intention behind it, okay? So it's the intention behind the action that matters. And today you have come to your mat to connect with your body and breath, to explore your limits, to remove any physical or emotional limitations that you place upon yourself and allow yourself to really connect with what is. It's when we can be where we are, where we can accept where we are, that we remove limitations, that we remove any boundaries, you can never go from where you wish you were. You can only go from where you are. Okay, we're going to make our way onto our back. So I'd like you to bring your feet out to one side. We're going to roll down onto the back and we're going to come into um, reclined to Bhattakanasana. So I want you to bring the soles of the feet together. Reach up and try to grab your feet on the pinky toe man side, knees out wide. I want you to do your best to push your lower back down into the mat. Holding it here. Drive those knees out. Try to keep the shoulders, the neck, the jaw soft. Recline Pachimottanasana or Plow Pose, or if those are uncomfortable for you at all in your neck or if it's your time of the month and you prefer to come to your seated forward fold, Pachimottanasana do. Otherwise, we're going to keep the hands to the feet, we're going to lift the hips and bring your knees toward your brow. So this is one of my favorite ways to decompress to bring that nice flexion into the spine, especially after all that back bending. So just exploring this here, try to breathe as deeply as you can into the middle back, into those that space between each vertebra of your spine. Full inhales, full exhales. One more full breath in, one more full breath out, and slowly lower down, vertebra by vertebra, bring your knees in toward your chest. Bring your hands behind your head like you're lying on a beach. This is the really juicy, heavenly part. Okay, so I think we're all in need of a bit, of a bit of a holiday. If you're watching this later, maybe it won't apply, but currently we are living through lockdown and coronavirus, so um, this might be a, just a much needed visualization for us all. So crossing your right thigh over your left, scoot your bum to the right and bring your knees to the left, coming into this twisted root. So head just as heavy on the mat or on your hands, elbows out wide, and just allow both legs to twist toward the left. So an eagle wrap in the legs or as if you were um, sitting cross-legged. And again, just soft inhales and exhales through the nose. Okay, 
Relax the jaw, relax the face, and allow your body to melt into this twist. And then slowly bring it back to center. We're going to unravel the legs. That arms can stay exactly how they are. Left thigh over right. Scoop the bum to the left. Bring your knees to the right. Soften through the belly. Try to keep that left elbow if you can on the mat. Okay, and then slowly bring it back in. Well done, everyone. You can unravel the legs, release your arms from behind your head. We're going to make our way into our Shavasana. I am so chuffed and proud that you all made it through that class. Well done. Thank you for sharing it with me. We'll take a minute or two here just in our Shavasana to completely let go, to release fully all effort and to accept exactly where we are in our day, in our practice, in our life. And just allow everything to be. Nothing has to be adjusted. Nothing has to be changed or fixed. Everything is perfect as it is. Nothing can be anything other than the way it is. In this moment of stillness, notice your innate stillness. That doesn't mean that there's no thoughts. It doesn't mean that there is zero distractions. It means that we stay exactly present as we are. It means we do not go forward. We do not go back. In stillness, we connect with what is. The body. Maybe you stretch the arms overhead, maybe you point through the toes, take a full body stretch. And we'll make our way over onto the right side of our body into a fetal position, pausing here. And then make your way to a comfortable seat. Try to keep the eyes closed if possible, but sit up tall through the spine. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Take a moment to acknowledge your practice today, to thank yourself for not only having the intention of dedicating time to your yoga practice, but for, but for bringing action to that intention. I will close today's class with a quote. Without courage, wisdom bears no fruit. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Connect with your breath, with yourself. Bow your chin toward your chest and honor your practice. And namaste. Thank you everyone for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that dynamic sequence and I hope you got loads out of that space that we created in those back bends. Um, I am wearing um, owl yoga uh, leggings and I think it's beyond yoga. Um, or onesie uh, top. Both are from the sports and I'll link them below. And um, I'll also link one of my favorite maps in the description box below. And if you have any interest in joining my membership, um, I have an online membership that you can join monthly where we have daily classes, meditations, monthly workshops, workouts. It's got it all. So hopefully, um, you enjoyed this class and you got a bit of a taster and if you want to reach out i'm always available to chat at info at sweatysoulstudio.com thank you and have a great day